Welcome, adventurers, to another unboxing. I am the Rambling Bard, and today I wanted to share with you some candy that I got. Uh, thanks to my patrons, and thanks to your continued support, I was able to purchase yet another item that I have had my eyes on for quite some time. I wanted to try out. Uh, there is a YouTube channel, which I will provide the link for below, called Lofty Pursuits. Uh, and I am not being paid to advertise for this. I like to say that very clearly on all of my unboxings. Hello, Luna. Um, and Lofty Pursuits is somebody that I've been following on YouTube for about a year now. Uh, he's a candy maker. The guy's name is Greg, so bonus points, because that's my name too. Um, and uh, he makes really cool custom candy with uh, really specific dyes, and there's a whole history and stuff to it, and he, I just can't do it justice. He's got a great voice to listen to as well. He's an excellent narrator, so go check out Lofty Pursuits, uh, or go to www.pd.net, and you can get some of these candies for yourself. So I'll tell you a little bit about the ones that I ordered today here in just a minute. <laughs> So I had to settle because budget is tight and I have to survive. I had to settle for um, a few things this time around. I wanted to get a whole bunch of others, but so this time I got to be up and up on with the internet. I got the forbidden candy. That's right. Lofty Pursuits has created a Tide Pod candy. I love these. It's foil back. Kind of reminds me of some other foil back packs. Um, but, and then it's got your nutrition information on the back. Forbidden Treat is the title of this. I have not even watched, um, his video on it yet. I just saw it advertised and I was like, I really want those because that's, <laughs> that's the dumbest meme we have created. Actually out there eating real Tide Pods. Shame on you. Shame on you. Um, but I'm so excited to try these out and find out what they taste like. Um. More to the point, just because I'm curious to know what he did with the flavor. I don't know anything about what the flavor is, so I'm going to be excited about that. Uh, I'm, I'm more excited about this one um, because it speaks to the history of Lofty Pursuits and the history of where he got a lot of his candy making equipment. And um, it's actually the same, it is a recipe from the people that he got his candy making equipment from. It's called Nectar, and Nectar has a very indescribable flavor, and so it was one of those things, I was like, I want to try that. I want to know what this indescribable flavor is. So, let's start with the meme, shall we? I mm, it smells citrusy. I'm going to guess orange blueberry, but I don't know. It's definitely good. Really good. I think it's orange blueberry. Mmm. <laughs> got a nice crunch. Those are addictive. Mmm. I'm gonna have a hard time putting those down. I'm gonna cleanse my palate with some coffee here. <laughs> I'm really excited about nectar. Um, I will put links to all of the appropriate videos below. Please check them out. PD.net, www.pd.net. Public displays of confection. So cute. Guy loves his puns. He promotes independent artists and their music on his channel. Mmm. Mmm. I still taste it. It's got like a candy cane texture, which makes sense because that's how the way he makes these is the same way you would pull candy cane. Um. Which I know because I've watched a lot of his videos. It smells like honey. And cotton candy. Wow, that's good. It does, the flavor changes the longer you suck on it. Mm. The bags reseal, that's really nice. A lot of times, resealable bags you see in stores, and they, they just don't reseal. These actually do reseal. I feel like I really got my money's worth. I paid six bucks each for these bags. 
which seems compared to like mass produced candy or whatever seems like a lot but it's the kind of thing you're supposed to suck on and it lasts forever and it's unique you can't get it just anywhere and I know that they made it themselves and I can watch the whole process on their YouTube which makes it so cool um, the biggest downside I would say is probably the time but they're a small shop they're an independent shop and I knew that before I ordered so I wasn't disappointed by that by any stretch of the imagination nor was I surprised by it so, going in, if you're ordering candy from them, give them time. They're in Florida. Um, they have to deal with humidity and the weather, and sometimes that uh, can slow down the candy making process. And it's a small shop. They're an independent pe uh, independent shop. Um, so they're just a couple of people making candy. So it takes them time to keep up with orders, especially when they do something <sighs> like this. <laughs> so. Uh, I hope, I'm pretty sure that I have kept my, uh, kept my language good because Greg watches his language on his channel. I'd like his viewers to be able to watch this. Normally my channel is for adults only. It's like PBS, but you can cuss. Um, it's, it's, it's 10 out of 10 and that's my second 10 out of 10 on an un unboxing. It's a little unfair. I don't care. I love this stuff. Um, I'm really happy to be pleased with this stuff. I got a 10 out of 10, uh, for all the other unboxings I've done and, um, yeah, great. So, so far, 3 for 3, 10 out of 10. Lofty Pursuits, hitting it out of the park. Please keep up the great work, Greg. And if I'm ever in Florida, I want to come help you make candy. I want to apprentice to being a candy maker because that would be super cool. <laughs> Thank you so much, Adventurers, for stopping by and watching. I hope mm, mm, I've piqued your interest in this antique candy maker. Please go check out his channel. And if you get a chance, order some candy from him. Again, not a paid advertisement. It's just really tasty. <laughs> Thanks, adventures. Remember, life is a series of choices between fear and love.